Hi guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 15 of tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway tutorial. In the previous tutorial, I have taken you through on how we can create usage plans and API key. And now in this tutorial, we are going to use the API key along with the usage plan that we have created in the previous tutorial, right? So as you can see on my screen, we had created this uh, usage plan and also added the version one stage of access file data API. And along with that, we had created the API key that is trial API, right? So the very first thing that we have to do is to configure the method and make the API key mandatory, right? So let's see uh, how we can do that, right? So we have the usage plan and the API key in place, right? So now navigate to resources. So click on resources from the left panel. And I want to add that API key within this method, right? That is slash path parameter is bucket with get method, right? So click on the get method, click on method request, right? Here, as you can see, API key required and here we have little uh, warning sign. It says at least one stage of this API is associated with usage plans, but an API key is not required for this method. So if you remember then in the previous tutorial, we had added the version one stage of this API endpoint, right? So that's the reason it's showing this warning sign or the warning message, right? So now what we will do is we will click on this pencil icon and we will change false to true and click on this tick mark right and so uh, before we uh, deploy that api i will show you the normal invocation of this api endpoint right so what i will do is i will go to stages just to copy the invocation url right so i will copy this i will go to postman I'll paste it over here. So version one or the stage is followed by the bucket name so that I will say upload API tutorial slash not slash followed by the query string. So that is file equal to sample dot PDF, right? So what this will do is it will return the uh, pre-signed URL to upload a file, right? So I am just showing you the normal invocation before using the API key, right? Or before configuring the API key within this method. So I will say send. So as you can see, uh, it's returning something like this, the pre-signed URL to upload a file that uh, I have covered in one of the previous tutorial, right? So now uh, we will go back to API endpoint, click on resources, click on get method, click on method request and change this API key required to true, right? And once this is done, all we have to redeploy this API. So click on actions, say deploy API, select the deployment stage that is version one and say deploy, right? So now the API endpoint has been deployed. Now let's go back to Postman and try to invoke the same endpoint again. So I will simply say send. So as you can see, uh, it returned forbidden, right? Because we are not passing the API key. Now the API key is required in order to invoke this API endpoint, right? So what we have to do is we have to go to headers and we have to pass the API key, right? So how we will pass it? So let's have a look. So I will go back to API gateway. I will click on settings just to verify or check that which header uh, we have to pass, right? So within API key source, you can see that uh, configure deployments to receive API keys from the X API key header, right? So I'm going to copy this and go back to postman paste it as a key and within value, we will pass the actual API key that we have generated in the previous tutorial, right? So click on API keys, trial API, then click on show and copy this, right? And paste it over here. So now let's try to re-invoke this API endpoint, right? 
So before we try to uh, reinvoke this API endpoint, if you remember, then we had also configured the usage plan, right? So click on this usage plan and let's check. So here you can see we have set the quota for three requests per month, right? So it should only allow three invocations successfully and the fourth invocation, it should return something like limit exceeded, right? So let's have a look. So go to Postman and this is our first invocation after implementing or configuring API key, right? So I will say send and it returned the response successfully, right? The valid response with 200 status code, right? So this is our first invocation. I will click on send again. So this is our second invocation, right? And it's successful. And the third time it's successful, right? Now, if I try to invoke this API endpoint for the fourth time, it will throw an error or an exception, right? So let's try it. So now, as you can see, it returned limit exceeded, right? Because I have utilized all the three invocation or all the quota that is being assigned to me as a trial user for the month. So that's how uh, you can use usage plan and API key in order to limit the access. So well, that's it for now. So this is how you can create usage plan and API key and you can use it in your own method, right? And this is how you can set the quota and limit the access for a given user. So well, that's it for this tutorial. Till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.